Hi friends, it's Lauren Green. I uh, realized that it's been five years since I started graphic recording. It's 2020 and I first learned about graphic recording in 2015 and it's been a wonderful five-year journey to get to where I am today. Um, of course the journey is never done um, but one thing that's really fun after you've been doing this for a few years is to look back on those first examples. You really have to overcome a lot early on to get past your inner critics so that you keep practicing and keep learning how to draw, learning how to listen, and improving your practice. So I wanted to share a little video um, of some of my, my early stuff and, um, and how I got started because the question that I get a lot is how do you learn how to do this? And the way that I learned how to do graphic recording is the same way that everybody who comes up to me learns. You see it, <laughs> you get excited, and you go do it. I had always liked to doodle, but it wasn't until I went to a conference that was part of my graduate school program that I really discovered graphic recording. I went to George Mason and they have an organization development and knowledge management program. I was a first year grad student taking one of the second year grad students workshops. And this particular workshop was on creativity. They had brought in a special guest. Her name was Barb Siegel. Barb led this activity in this activity, there are five symbols. A circle that represents wholeness, a square that represents stability, a triangle that represents goals, a star person that represents relationships, and then there's a spiral that represents change. Barb taught us all five symbols, and then she had us tell visual stories to each other with only those symbols. And something hit me, a light bulb went off, and I said, this is it. This is my communications background coming through in visuals. This is my dance background coming through in art. This is my facilitation organization development background coming through and how we use visuals to improve organizations and create change. It was everything I wanted in one thing. So I immediately went up to Barb, as many people now come up to me, <laughs> <laughs> and bugged her <laughs> to tell me how to do this. And Barb was so kind and she gave me a number of resources. She of course told me about IFVP, the International Forum of Visual Practitioners. She told me that there were a couple of meetups um, in DC that, that get together to do workshops. So I learned that day about uh, the DC Graphic Facilitators Group, DCGF. I was able to do several DCGF workshops. So I got myself into Stephanie Brown's Graphic Recording 101. And then what really upped my ante, I was able to take Deirdre Crowley's Drawing People Out workshop. There was really something special about doing a three-day immersive workshop. And now Deirdre has become one of my closest friends, a mentor, as well as I'm an associate now of Crowley and Company. I was able to find opportunities to practice. Fortunately, I was in grad school, so I had ample amount of lecture time to just Sketch note my little heart out, and sketch noting was really a great way to practice. I also did a bunch of school projects that involved graphic recording and some visual graphic facilitation activities. So grad school really was the, the way I could practice. This is maybe one of my specialist moments when I got the call from Brian Tarallo in 2016 that I had got a spot on the OG Systems Visionary Team, which is still very much in operation and now being led by Ben Tinker, was like joining the dream team. It was already a high performing team before I joined it. I had never been on a team where I had the opportunity to just learn and grow and work with amazing mentors, amazing professionals who are wonderful at what they do. I learned so much faster on a team than I could have ever learned on my own and just found that group incredibly embracing. I had never thought about owning my own business, but since I was allowed to take outside work here and there, as long as it didn't interfere, I found myself taking outside work. And then I got a contract for the first time, and that was thrilling. If you're looking to learn how to start graphic recording, um, follow, follow my path. It's the one that many have followed. Get a mentor, get the books, check out Nova Scribes. They also have webinars, so if you're not in the DC area, you can still join us. Definitely get to a Grove workshop and get to an IFEP conference at some point in your career. You won't regret it. Those two things will get you connected in a way that no other experience can, and it's a very welcome main community globally. If you're out there and you want to learn this, welcome to the community. It's a wonderful ride.